Jared Hiller, Heavy Metal Kid 22, wants to know. Oh, hey, this is great. Here's your favorite line to start it off. I mean, no offense truly when asking this, <laughs> but I would like to know why does it seem like Triple H only books for a minority of an internet audience? Hope that's not too controversial of a question. No, it's not controversial at all. And I actually, on Twitter, said, hey, I want to answer this question on my show because I do think there's, I do think there's philosophical reasons for all of it. Um, I do think sometimes uh, the focus is when he's writing is, is on a, uh, the smaller niche audience, but those are the hardcore wrestling fans. So you want to please them. And if you can make it broad stream enough, uh, you can please the, the casual fan as well. So I think Hunter's really good at, and we've said it a hundred times on here, having his finger on that pulse, knowing what looks good and feels good and is good. And that's how he's going to construct the television shows. And you're going to see, uh, heels starting to get a lot of heat on guys uh where he's he's more of a heel heat kind of thing than a baby face looking great every week like stone mm -hmm. cold or something but he, he likes for his heels to get some heat and then his baby faces to put that to beat that heel you know what i mean i think that's as old as, as time itself is the guy makes you hate him then the good guy beats him and so i think you'll see a lot of that um and a lot of the you know people that he's that he's focused on uh, getting wins and being being dominant and being pushed and in a positive way that will feel good and and when it's time for that guy to get beat he'll get beat right and and Hunter will make sure of it he he's a he's very smart at every aspect of this game um, and so it's the future is bright and it's in good hands we've got a fantastic question right here from Daniel Merrick using the hashtag ask dog was there any talent that either one of them pushed for and the other seriously agreed with or, or, or disagreed with and vice versa. Like who did both agree on? Who did both not agree on? And then who did one agree with? Yeah, the other yeah. one was so, a so no. The one, the one that I can think of was AJ Styles. And it was more me and Vince than it was Hunter and Vince. But it was, man, he, he just... He had he didn't know who AJ was and he didn't know what he was capable of and and I did and me pitching him in that in that way uh, just made him dig in deeper and so we we had some serious arguments over over uh, AJ Styles but I could imagine he and Hunter had similar uh, co conversations about people that were coming up from NXT I mean I I can't imagine Hunter didn't say anything to him about changing carrying crosses everything. Uh, changing you know i'll tell you one guy that's the opposite uh is and you mentioned him earlier i don't know what their name is now but it's brendan brennan williams uh, my say yeah yeah my say um i was a huge fan of his right from the get-go i thought man he's a big good-looking african-american dude that dan he's an athlete from the get-go defensive end and so man he moves across the ring like a gazelle and and he's huge and beautiful and so what's not to love and let's put it on tv and and Vince saw him and loved him and now utilizes him and I couldn't get him on TV and NXT because he wasn't a great wrestler you know what I mean and and that's what NXT was about so that's that's one for each of them there I think the year before Raw Underground there was a pilot of PC Underground that was a developmental style wrestling show mm -hmm. and and Dio Madden or Brennan Williams or Marseille actually yep. tagged with Swerve, Swerve and had a great visual presentation yep. that just looked cool man yeah and look i was the one that put them together because i thought they were in my class i actually had a class when i first got there because they didn't know i didn't know how to wrestle yet um <laughs> they, they learned very quickly uh but but i put them two together because i thought man what a what a beautiful team of the the big guy can can do some power stuff and swerve can do everything and and uh big guy can base for swerve or throw swerve or whatever you know i just thought man these cats are cool together and then they they were they really were cool together and they did great together and then uh they you know decided to go with uh Some different whatever directions. they were called hit, 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 hit row. row hit row i love hit row <laughs> eddie s at lady luck 1980 wants to know with triple h bringing back all of these wrestlers 
I'm about to say, Karrion Cross, Dexter Loomis, potentially Sasha Banks. Yeah. Do you think he'll... Rock, <laughs> I, I mean, uh, Dakota Kai. There you go. Yep, yep. Uh, EO, Bring EO, EO up. Sky is up there now. All right, so, so Lady Luck's question was, with Triple H bringing back all these wrestlers, do you think he'll still be invited for Christmas dinner this year? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, look, I think he will. Because I think, uh, I think this is how it had to happen. And I know, you know, I, I, look, I'm a firm believer in what how things happen is exactly how it's supposed to happen. But this is, I feel like this is how it's supposed to, it was supposed to happen. It, it almost had to be jerked away from Vince the way it had to be jerked away from his father. And, and I think that something crazy had to go down to get new leadership. And I'm sad of what, you know, how it, how it happened for, for Vince and family. Um, but it's something like this needed to happen for this transference of power to go smoothly. And uh, again, I'm sorry that it had to happen the way it did, but it was time and here we are, the future looks bright.